I'm going to use Trimble File Flipper to get some a surface, um, a Land XML model into Trimble Machine Control. One of the complicated things, um, or old complicated methods with Trimble Machine Control files, was that you had to have it in a very specific folder. So taking the old system, the GCS 900, you had to create a folder called Machine Control Data, and a folder called All, and a Project and Geo Data folder. The nice thing about the file flipper is that it's going to do that um, tree for you. And also with the new Trimble Earthworks, there's quite a big file tree as well, and the flipper is going to do that for you. So first thing, if we go to Browse, and go and find some data. I have a file on my S, on my D drive, my USB stick. So notice I currently have no other folders on my USB stick. So I'm going to choose my model, my XML document that holds that triang triangulated layer. When I put it in, it, it reads the name of it. If I had multiple ones in a folder, I would want to select the surfaces I want to import. Press continue tell it it is a surface and this is the name of my actual surface so gcs 900 or the is the older sort of thick gray um, cb460 panels when you're working with that machine control it demands a um, svd file which is your design file and you can import an svl which is your line work and um, this is going to sim simplify it for us Will I be using GPS? Yes, I will be. If I had a DC file or a local calibration file, I can bring it in here. Alternatively, I can go in and just tell it I'm working with a national grid. So on this occasion, I'm in the UK, I'm going to be on Ordnance Survey Grid, um, OSTN 15, the most current one. Will I be using the geoid? Yes, I'll be using the OSGM as well. Have that selected. Design name, name, I'll just keep the same. You can see it's going to bring in the XML, my coordinate system. So I can just hit save. So now on my um, on my D drive, you'll notice that it created this um, machine control data folder for us there. Um, sorry, I'm just going to change it to that D drive. The design path, see there. So I'm going to save it again. So now, if I go into my D drive, there we go. I've got this machine control data folder. So that's the flipper doing that for me. If I go into here, into all, into plots, I then have my SVD file and my calibration. That's ready to import into the machine control system. So for it works, it's just as simple. I want to import my file again, tell it's a surface, it's going to find my BP surface, but this time for Trimble Earthworks, it's going to ask for a project name. You really can't go wrong using this, this sort of flipper. So it's asking where do you want to save it to? I'm going to tell it onto my D drive again. Um, exactly the same process with the coordinate system. So it's going to remember my default. I'm on OS. I want to use the OS GM15. Um, project path. So I'm going to change that like I did last time to my D drive. And then save it. So Trimble Earthworks does demand a slightly different file path to the, the old um, GCS 900, you'll see here, it's called Project Library, all one word. That's the one we just did. And then when I double click on that, it's going to take me to Geodata, then Projects, inside Projects, Alan Plots, Office Data, Designs, and then I have this DSMZ file I'm just looking for. So File Flipper makes it much easier to manage that file tree, it eliminates error and it can be downloaded free from Trimble Business Center, which is really nice.